so we're here at the International Builder Show in Las Vegas, and I stopped by to see Lynn Morris from View Rail, and uh, I was talking to him about this spiral staircase. So I'm considering putting a spiral staircase in a shipping container. A great place for it. That's the only place that you really need a spiral staircase for the most part is confined spaces. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I love your products and I love how you guys do things. Can you talk about the construction and just how how this is different from every other manufacturer? This is a compression style spiral and I love aviation and so I love the inspiration of the scimitar blade that's a really popular blade in the aircraft right now. I like the scimitar looking tread. We've got the curve and the LED lights to go with it. But the, the compression spiral is one where we're just building this up and we have a torque spec for every piece when it's put on top of the next one it has to be torqued to a certain value so we get the right amount of strength and compression. And when it is all built, this thing is incredibly rigid and really solid. We do a lot of different infill, but here we're showing our cable rail infill with the rods. I think this is really slick. Could be an exterior, we could do this out of our thermally modified wood. Or on the interior, this is a white oak with a really X on it. Tell me uh, what you think. Though. So I didn't even consider for external yeah. uh, purposes. I was thinking more of inside the house somewhere. But now external, you said it's a thermally modified wood? Or yeah, we would probably want to use a thermally modified wood. Or we could do this out of aluminum and then put porcelain. Uh, it's a porcelain tread on there. We could do, if you have like a stone paver that you're working with, we can incorporate that in with like an, an aluminum pan. Really like aluminum on an exterior. And in the exterior, we would want to weld all of this together, then powder coat it so you don't have any chance for moisture to come in or a bolt to corrode or any failure down the road. We want to really robust the exterior. So. I really like that. So uh, just because I'm a nerd and I like to know yeah. how everything fits together. Yeah. So you were talking about torquing in every single thing. Are the lights just a plug and play in, in basically your shell of the center is just another yeah. wire and a plug and play in every tread. So all of our systems, we built a wire harness. We put the wire harness in the system, and it's a molded plug connection. So every one of those LEDs is going to be a molded plug connection. And then we find a place in the, in the hole here in the underneath the platform where we're burying the driver and we bring 120 volt power to it. We want to have it behind a serviceable panel so if there's any of serviceability we can still service it. Awesome, awesome. And so what is the price point on something like this? So uh, certainly it's is a show, so we're featuring something pretty nice. Probably in the, in the mid to high 20s. Uh, on a basic exterior, we could be down in the, in the mid, -teen, mid to high teens. Yeah. Right, so definitely affordable if you're looking at this kind of solution. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's not pressure treated deck work. So. It, it, is, it is not. It is not. It, and we're focusing on the larger spirals. I'm a bigger guy. This is a seven foot diameter, which is pretty big. It's pretty big for the spiral world. Uh, we could go. The sky's the limit with an engineering team, you know, one of a 12-foot diameter, we can do that. The 7 foot is a really comfortable size, and it's still comfortable. Cool. Well, thanks for your time, Lee. I appreciate it. Thanks for making a video with me. Thank you. Yeah, that's it for this one. See you guys in the next one.